Avion game. So. Where is this Lord Gavin dude? And how much is his tickets? Hey. I have a dress on. I even got like this amazing looking purple hair. Unless you're not a fan of purple hair. Then I'm sorry. <laughs> if you're not a fan of ladies with purple hair. You might be in trouble. But if you're fine with purple hair. Ren has the best. The rest of it. A ticket. Okay, where is this Lord Gavin dude? Yeah, I saw the thieves earlier. All right. Sounds a little elitist. Men are big. Wait, you'd give up your ticket for what? Okay, yeah, uh, a painting. Is this it? How do I give him to... Lionel the Grey, wouldn't that be the fresh and original artwork? Huh? I can. I can spare a penny. I have 19,837 pennies. I can spare a penny. In fact, I'll give you a whole bunch of cash if you have any items on you. Anything. Especially if I can value that item. If it's a valuable item. Like cheese or other forms of food. Do you have anything like that? Where is this Lord Gavin dude? Why is he hiding? Is he that guy fighting with this guy? Is that him?
I just paid you a bunch of money for that. Where the heck? Like, I might as well spend some gold on some stuff while I'm here. I mean, my pockets are hella lighter. Like, when I came here, I had, oh, I had like 60 grand, and now I have 16 grand. Who are you? Oh, sick. This little place looks amazing. Someone just tried to assassinate the king. Oh, Galahad! Get him. Too late, he's gone. Who was that? He's one of the thieves that recognized the cloak. Help. The thieves. Galahad joins the party. Huh. I remember Galahad was like a beat up dude. He looks very clean cut in this one. Very young and clean cut. Because I remember he was some kind of beat up dude. But he, he had something with the crown, but he was also vampiric. Like he used like vampiric sorcery to keep himself alive along with Tajil. It feels very weird walking around in a ball gown out here. Peninsula. Where exactly was the thieves? I know it was a dungeon. Okay, let's fight this guy. <laughs> it looks so weird walking Ren, wa watching Ren walk around in a dress like this. 
and like absolutely destroying everything in this like really fancy ballroom guest dress. It's really weird to watch. Ballroom guest warriors. <laughs> Ballroom warriors. Oh, that might actually be a bad thing. What if this thing... What if this thing gets covered in blood or something? And that's a problem. Because, yeah, we... um We here at uh, Vaporsmith... Uh, Inc. Destroy a lot of enemies... Here we are, the Thieves' Cave. Six forty gold. Well, again, I need it because that uh, other thing was a major money drain on me. Like, the thieves are like at the dead end of this crazy place. That. Witch Dance. Okay, Witch Dance doesn't do much initial. It doesn't really do damage initially, but it increases your damage subsequently. All right, makes sense. These thieves' caverns are like a maze. That's part of why I was not very fond of going back here, because it's a maze to find anything. No damage. Witch's dance. For 70. Thousand! Over a thousand. Cr that didn't kill him? Seven twenty. Go. Confusion. Skill.
Song of Madness. Seventy one. How did that not do any damage? About to say. Reaching back towards 20k gold. I was at 60k for a while, but some things you have to actually spend money on in this game if you want them. And I want to try out the different items because I haven't played this game before and I don't know what how strong or weak the items are or whether they're going to help me with quests and stuff. I think this is it. This is the thieves place. Oh, my friend, they're the thieves, the king of Sedona. I have the answers, why should I tell you? I'll tell you this much, we paid to assassinate the king by a man in Sedona. Who? Takes, takes payment, remember? Don't bargain. Not as much. It's me money he refuses to pay. Elven man, return to statuette. He wants the statuette. Why couldn't I just pay him in cash? Why couldn't I just pay him in cash? Because I have cash. But yeah, Sir Galahad, I don't remember him like this. I remember him being like a different character. This is the wrong way. Not three twenty. I mean, I'll gladly take any cash I can because, uh, yeah, going and experimenting with items there cost me. A fair amount of money and when I mean a fair amount I mean a ridiculous amount of money like the scutter was 10 grand the earth thing was a stupid amount of money 
It's all stupid amounts of money that I have to spend on stuff. I sell some of these chain whips. I think that's the way out. The hell it is. Yeah, let's just get a shortcut to Sedona. As much as I don't like spending money, I want to expedite this quest. Being stingy here just feels bad. Because I... Sometimes time is worth more than money. Especially in this game where any quest I run across instantly, I get a buttload of money. Alright, so the guy... Warm up my hands. The guy that uh, had the statue, I think, was over here. Wait, no, this is the guy who wanted fresh artwork. The thieves wanted it. Critical 287, 330, you're dead. 300 gold, right there. That's what I meant by I can get 300 gold almost anywhere. These enemies alone will drop it. say that's 300 gold wouldn't think it would be would you but it is curl 335 219 and he's done say see? see how much damage we deal iron sword I'm pretty sure an iron sword would fetch a lot of money too but all you need is the the 330 the 300 gold and that goes guys either drop an iron sword 
which you probably could sell, or 300 gold point blank, which is kind of a lunacy, but that's how it is. Critical to it. Alright, witch's dance. Ooh, witches can do damage. Mm hmm. Say 300. 300. We made up, more than made up the difference right there. Ooh, a hole. <sighs> Cheese. Really? That's it? No, like, up empty bottle or something crazy? No. Cheese? Really? And if it is, if you do have to guard it, guard it with some, like, crazy ass enemy. Like, one of those squid things. Or worse. Do 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 It's better to do that than to have the actual game do it cuz that'll actually scramble up and mess up my audio possibly only some of the time which that's annoying enough Now we're just going to get all the way back to that thief who apparently does not accept cash payments. Since I had a lot of cash on me. A lot of cash. How much do you need? Just name your price. And in fact, even if I don't have the price, I'm killing enemies until eventually I have the money, wherever that is. And honestly, that would have been more convenient than this. He wanted to go for the most inconvenient possible route imaginable. See, that is a one crit. Where is this place? Which is dance works better against him. I'd like to like 
ball out and throw a fireball at him, but the problem is that doesn't hit him. I wish I had like a curse to make it so my hands don't ever get cold again. Put a curse on my hands. really weird to see a lady in a ball gown walking around in a dungeon like this, but it's it's now the uh, the style. Eh? What the heck is the... What is going on? There is a dog is losing its mind out there. Okay, skill, Witch's Dance, and then basically because the rest of our spells are nearly worthless versus Orcs. They don't deal much damage, but they don't take much either. Yeah, I didn't think so. No, it's back to the start. Damn it. I don't like this cavern at all. Where is it? <sighs> this is the same place, I think. Is there a door back here? 
No. Skill, which is dance, skill, weevil, skill. Skill, silence, <laughs> Weevil does no initial damage. That's so bizarre. Like these basic attacks, even though I'm doing 500 damage and confusing them, it's still doesn't... Almost all the other enemies behave differently than this. These guys are completely almost spell immune. Like, flame, flame melody does nothing to them. That basic attack did almost nothing. These are the like most bizarre enemies I've ever fought in the game. Does no damage. At least it puts him to sleep. That could help. Why is this cave so confusing? Is this it? This is it, finally. What does this guy do? Client is a nobleman who goes by the name of Lord Gavin. Gavin of Shatura with her hands, easy Galahad. Let's go tell the king. He'll decide what to do. Oh. This is some serious treachery. Lord Gavin is seriously treacherous. That's interesting. And next time on Aviond, we will be going further to the Thieves' Hideout 
and going back to Sedona to tell them about the news.